back here with a look at Caspa. Boy, oh boy, we got so close to breaking that uh, that resistance line here. Look at this. I was watching this earlier, hoping it was going to bust up through here. So it still could. It still probably will. Quite honestly, we're going to take a look at the RSI's here in a second. I'm going to show you some stuff here when you zoom out that uh, that that is looking pretty pretty juicy for Caspa. All right, um, let's move on here real quick. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin and see what is going on over there. All right, we could possibly have a decent uh, pullback coming with this thing. All right, if we zoom out of here. All right, especially on the this wave count. All right, we had a one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Looks like probably working on an ABC here. This could take some time to play out, uh, especially if you have, you know, something like this going on, where uh, you can have this A wave come down, a B wave come up, and a C wave come down. All right, so <clears throat> it's more than likely going to take some some time to play out. Um, you know, if if this was the bottom of wave four here, which if we count these out. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this looks like the the uh, the deepness of wave four in here. If we're going on a 12-hour, you know, you can see see much more of a a pullback there for for that four. Um, so I'm going from there with the fib and taking it up top, right to the very top there. All right, that's gonna put our 618 down here, somewhere down here, okay. Now, as far as that A wave of B, we're not gonna know uh, how far this, we're gonna obviously get a bounce here until this, uh, this A wave finishes up here. Say we get something along the lines, you know, it's gonna have to be where it measures out, you know, Let's just, let's just take a look at something here. If this A comes down. 67, 8. Pull this down on top. That's pretty close. <laughs> wow. For winging it, that's uh, that, not too bad. Um, you know, we'll just have to see where it stops here. Uh, this A wave. Then, we're, then I'd expect a bounce up to a 618 fib. You know, we'll see where it comes in at, but then take your Fibonacci, pull it down on top of your B wave. That'd be a little bit lower than that, actually, for B, so our A could come down a little bit deeper. Just trying to get a good idea where this, uh, where this could end up, you know, coming down to. If this, let's see here. So A pulls down to there, a B back up to 71, 2, pull this down on top, that would put us in our zone, alright, yeah, so, you know, this A wave could pull down to 67, 4, somewhere right around there, 67's, right in the 67, 67, 5. Uh, B way back up to uh, 71, 2, 71, 3. And that's a rough guess, but th that would measure out right for an ABC right down here to, uh, you know, target of about, what is that, 65 to, uh, to 63 and a half. Uh, that puts you between your uh, 702 and your 618. And we'll pull this out. We'll see how this works out. We'll just leave that right on there like that, okay? But it's going to be some kind of correctional uh, pattern come in here. All right, we got a long ways down to come with the 12 hour, the 12 hour RSI way at the top there. Your daily, uh, you had bearish divergence coming in here. You know, you had your, uh, you had this high here, then you had a lower high come in. For your all-time high you know and it's it's just starting over it's at a 67 yet all right and then your eight hour uh your eight hours only about halfway down your four 
your four is almost down there so you know you get your eight wave pushed down your four will probably pull your b up and then your final your final flush there so we'll see how this works out but i'm expecting a pretty decent correction nothing major i mean um if we run on a weekly here oh wow yeah i mean it's going to put us right down uh right down retesting this support you know right here was uh a weekly support from uh the previous all-time high at 65.5 right there you know so maybe that's where it'll end up so, somewhere down in this range okay um actually no I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with my original i do that all the time i always double guess myself and i need to just stick with my original plan here right here that's what i'm looking for 63 you know 63 to sixty-five thousand bucks somewhere right around there abc correction uh if we come over here and look at the crypto bubbles kind of getting a little bit of a this is for the month all right we've been due for a pullback here i mean this thing has just run up hard you know that time we get a, a little a little shock into the market here you know and uh this is nothing yet eight percent six five eight percent pullbacks you know of course if bitcoin dominance takes a a tumble let's take a look at that you know maybe the altcoins will actually uh take off and run bitcoin dominance let's go out on that weekly see where we're at nowhere near our target we're still holding that trend line uh trend line's way down here oh yeah still holding trend right up through here yep Still holding trend, expecting it to get up to that 60%. We're up at 53 and a half. Um, you know, as uh, you know, as Bitcoin price pulls down, maybe dominance will, uh, you know, the altcoins are probably going to get rocked. Uh, you know, if we look at them right now, these are just the ones I cover. Look at these corrections up here, 19, 14, 13, 10. And these, these will get, you know, we'll take a pretty good hit, but when these bottoms come in, boy oh boy will you get your bounces i'm telling you you know um and there's some that uh that have already taken their beatings you know like caspa i think caspa has already taken its beating but you look at uh like for instance look at cake here you know had this big run up here two three this looks like a wave four possibly this thing's working on maybe oh no 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 i'm sorry yeah one two three four five that was probably the fifth wave up there you know this thing could have a pretty decent uh pullback you know go from the blow down here you know something like this if uh like cake this could have a wow yeah you know you could have a 30 percent pullback in this thing but these are the ones if you nail the bottoms boy oh boy you can ride them back up hard you know what i'm saying i mean by the time this abc is done it's going to put a beating on some of these things but uh you know we'll see what happens here oh over on coin glass i want to show you guys this 24 hour liquidations oh it's up 71 percent now 371 million i just did a myro video it was at 50 percent 71 percent now uh liquidations 71 percent from yesterday open interest still high 74 dropped a billion dollars since i just did one video it was at 75 uh 24 hour crypto volume quarter of a billion uh, a quarter of a trillion dollars yeah, up 23.48 percent we have more shorts than longs now 50.36 percent shorts and 49.6 percent longs uh, there's one thing i do want to check out before we um i do want to look at the uh Casper wallets let's see what's going on here any uh anything major going down here you know since we've had to pull back here with bitcoin and be a good day to look at that i think Pet a hash, everything's about the same there. Let's take a look here. Please hit the like and subscribe, guys, when I'm thinking about it. I appreciate that so very, very much. Helps out a lot. I 
really appreciate it. Oh yeah. Wow, look at this, last 24 hours, oh boy. But look at that, plus one whale, plus one humpback. Within the last hour, one humpback. See, they see what I'm seeing. This is within the last hour, one whale and one humpback, all right? Within the last hour, we did lose a Aquaman, okay? Probably went to a humpback, uh, I take it. Um, must have sold some off there, but... We have gotten, uh, you know, in the last 24 hours, one whale, one humpback. We've, uh, you see some negatives here. I don't understand this. If people are looking at these charts here real quick, uh, I'm seeing something a little bit different here. Uh, you know, uh, this Aquaman, maybe, might, you know, of course, if you own a billion to 10 billion, why wouldn't you take some profits, I guess, right? I mean, that's a, that's a pile of tokens. All right, let's move over here. One thing I do want to show you guys, I talk about the level three memberships, all right? For $14.99, you get all of these videos, guys. Nine hours worth of videos that I put together. I got a lot of work in these things. Uh, 20 plus videos in there. Um, uh, one through 23, there's 23 on here nine hours plus a link to the trading discord um i think we have 210 members over there now so you know if uh if it's something that interests you it's 14.99 you will come out a better trader and you will come out you know not financial advice but i'm sure you'll come out a lot better in this bull run than uh than you would if you wouldn't get this okay it's well worth 15 bucks all right so uh sign up come join us in discord it's a lot of fun we have a blast over there uh, a lot of guys posting a lot of trades and you get all these videos for 15 bucks all right so uh please you know consider it now if we're going to take a look at this chart all right this is on a weekly we have weekly closes all right something i want to point out here because this is uh we have a weekly close here. We have weekly close here. All right, then we have these two right up here also, okay? Now, that obviously weekly closes are your strongest support areas, okay? Let's get this line off here for now. All right, so you can see these. We have a weekly close here. We have a weekly close here. If we go out on a monthly, all right, we have Two monthly candles down here at uh, 12 8 all right um, we have nothing above that as far as monthly but these weeklies all right we have one two three four five six we have six weekly candle closes right up through here all right which is should make a major support area okay right should make that like a four because this is like a major major support zone you know and it could be it should actually be right up through here all right i'm not expecting us to lose that we lose that and uh and, and then we're if we would we're coming down to uh to this area down here that's the next major support area would be right down through here okay that's your uh you have candle closes through here wicks can you know wicks up through here the, these are your two major major support areas all right so you want to see 100 percent you want to see uh 14 cents hold okay cannot lose that all right 13.9 maybe let's let's zoom in real good here get a real good accurate shot at this here 1398 1399 you know roughly 14 cents you don't want to lose 14 cents all right this wick down there right to what did it hit whoops keep hitting it twice it hit 140255 we hit right on that 14 cents we do not want to lose that that is a very very crucial crucial support area okay and then we have one right above that if we uh that we've almost regained 
right up here you know, let's make that a one so we can see that a little bit better here when we zoom in here a little bit that's another major support area you got two weekly closes right up there all right now as far as a weekly rsi that weekly rsi is still right in no man's land really 42 and a 54 the daily is at the bottom all right three and an eight it's been down there for a while a way oversold we're at a 42 down here on the bottom all right a 12 hour just about reset okay 12 and a uh, 25 and you can see how we bounce right off of this major support area eight hour uh, just about reset 13 and a 22 we have a green eight hour started we're at a 38 down here on the bottom where's the 12 the 12 is down at a uh, 36. The 4-hour is reset and bouncing. We have a green 4-hour candle. The green is down at uh, 39. Okay. So you got the uh, the 12 at a 35. The 8 at a 37. The 4 at a 39. And then your 1-hour uh, is up and down. Okay. Now, what I want to see here. I don't want to see this come back down here and touch this trend line. I want to see this hold right where it's at, just like right here, okay? Let's put a fib on here. All right, there we go. Yeah, we've almost had a 786. This is really zooming in, okay? I'm, I'm thinking that this could be a wave one, two. I, I think we're going to break this resistance and, and, and get out of here, okay? I really do. Um, now you can see this at one hour candle starting off the 702 and, and working its way up here um, but that one hour um, we are just taking a look on see how low it is at a 43 okay that four hour the four hour is heading up the eight hour with real soon will be heading up we have a green eight hour candle the 12 is just about reset and the daily is reset all right this has to be a bottom all right we do not want to lose this area all right i, I really don't believe we're going to i really don't 14 cents has to hold if it doesn't we're coming down to 12 8 all right 12 8 12 9 that's the next area and that is another you know if you lose 14 you're talking about another uh, 8% down, okay? Now, as far as the FIB goes on this whole thing, let's see where we're at here. You know, off of this move right here. And that's off of, the, off of this wave right here. Okay, we're right past a 50%. All right, not really what I wanted to see. I was hoping uh, a 618 would come in there or something on that uh, on that note. Let's look and see if we have another area we could go off of now. Okay, not without pulling it uh, the whole way back up. Uh, where was it? Right around here. One, two, three, that, that was wave four up in here. We're right through that seven, eight, six. Boy, oh boy, yeah. I definitely want to see this hold, guys. 14 cents has to hold. That's, that's the line in the sand for me, all right? If we lose that, like I said, it's coming down here to 12, eight. And the only thing that would make sense with it coming down there is a fib, okay? If it's going to uh, pull down there right off this bottom, the 618 would come in at 13.3. Then you got your 702 at uh, 12.6. All right, and I kind of, uh, boy, oh boy, yeah. These The 618 and the 702, I really love those two areas for pullbacks. But as, you know, as oversold as we are and as much support as we have up here, which we have a ton of it, okay, I, I definitely want to see that hold. We'll find out. You know, um, major, major uh, time for uh, CASPA right now. Now, can we count out any kind of uh, ABC pattern in here or anything that could uh, 
signal bottom in here you know uh, five waves down let's take a look at this thing on a four hour three four you know I just don't I don't see a whole lot there's a W pattern I love W patterns they're so you know they I love them boom 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 W patterns are a, a bullish pattern but that was almost like a double top there you know then we rolled over here one two three four five well we'll see what happens that's that's basically uh you know i i can only uh, uh do so much for it and plead my case here but when you go out on that weekly we got massive massive support in this area you, you can see it for yourselves you know you guys are smart enough to figure it out you know if we don't hold it it uh you see the next area down here 12 9 13 cents okay so we'll see what happens uh that has to hold expect a big pullback from bitcoin it could pull caspa down there's no doubt about it it absolutely could um no question we will see what happens though i'm going to throw that from a fibonacci on here one more time i'm doing everything i can to, to uh to hope and pray this holds up here you know, we got our 618 or 702 down here. We'll see. All right. Pray for 14 to hold. All right. We got a lot of support there. And if we can get this trend line broke, we've poked numerous holes up through this area. We need this trend line to break. All right. Any break of uh, 15 cents would get us at it, would break that trend. 15 cents okay so be hoping for 15 and and hope 14 holds <laughs> how's that all right thank you so much guys please hit the like and subscribe uh, and uh i will be back with you very very soon and uh hopefully we have good news uh to come have a great day everyone